Let's talk about an anime series, shall we? Let's talk about an anime series I'm currently watching. But this series is actually a couple years old. And it's a series based on a visual novel. It's rated, I think, R plus on my anime list. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Uh, this is the first of three uh, series regarding these characters. Uh, and it basically just takes place in different time uh, periods, uh, from my understanding. And it's a really good series, and it's one of the few series I've watched that has actually made me genuinely, like, feel like I'm gonna cry and actually, you know, shed tears over. I'm not even, you know, done with the series. I was gonna do this video when I was done with the series, but I decided, fuck it, I'll do it when I'm halfway through the series. Or just over halfway through the series. And I'm actually at, uh, I do believe, episode 8. Yeah, episode 8. And the show I'm talking about is called, and let me make sure I pronounce this correctly, or at least get some facsimile of the pronunciation correctly. Grisaya no Kajitsu. And basically, the show's about this guy who was raised is basically an assassin. And he's put in this high school to try and change people within the school to, to make them not, like, to make them, like, think for themselves and do stuff for themselves. And all these different characters are, they have some kind of dysfunction. You know, they have some kind of personality disorder or some, you know, uh, uh, some family trouble that is kind of fucking with them in some way. And... All of the people in the school, except for uh, Kazami uh, Yuji, who's the main protagonist. All of the people in the school, and there's only like, what? Sachi Michiru. Du, du, du. There's like five girls in the school. And there's one in particular that I hope nothing bad happens to. And her name's Makina. <laughs> and she's like the most pure, like, character I've seen in anime. It's like, I don't want things to, you know, bad things to happen to her. I want to protect her from all these bad things. Because she's also, I think, the youngest of the group of girls in the school. And, you know, I assume she has some fucked up shit in her backstory. I don't think they've really addressed it. They've just kind of been like, ah, oh, here she is. She's, like, kind of childish and, you know... I think she's her shit's probably going to come up in the next couple episodes. Because they've done three characters so far in dealing with their issues. Um, uh, there's a character... I think the first character is Michiru. Uh, who is like someone who wants to be Sundari, but doesn't exactly know how to be Sundari. And she's also... She's got like two personalities... And, like, there's this cat that she finds, and it's like, you know, she calls it... This is the, this is the one of the parts of the season that made me genuinely cry for, like, a good five minutes. And it, it's because it involves a cat, and I love pets. I love animals. I don't want to hurt animals at all. And so there's this, like, she finds this little cat, and, you know, she's playing with it. And she, like, befriends it, befriends it. And, you know, then she acts like, oh, you know, I, I, she doesn't really care about it because she's trying to be Sundari. And it's so fucking sad. Uh, she basically, you know, uh, at one point in the episode regarding the cat, uh, which is, again, like, the episode where she kind of deals, or it's the beginning of her dealing with her personal shit. Um... Uh, it's like the catalyst for her dealing with her shit. And basically... So the cat... You know, she gets through the cat. She kind of blows off the cat. Because she's like... 
she's trying to play this Sundari character. It fucks off. And so she's trying to find the cat later on in the episode. And um, Yuji's trying to help her at a, at a certain point. And they're like, ah, oh, you know, he'll, you know, they'll find, you know, the cat will find itself. And they name it, like, she names it Meow Meow initially, but he's like, you know, uh, we should name it Rommel. You know, because he's like this great general. And of course, you know, it was an actual general for the Nazis. And so she calls him Meow Moa. Meow Moa? Like, she, it's the pronunciation she has is kind of strange, for me, at least. But it's a combination of Meow and Rommel, so it's like Meow Mala, I think that's how she pronounces it. And, you know, they're walking back to the school, and they, like, he walks in front of her and is like, you know, don't, you know, we shouldn't go this way. And the cat is just fucking, like, it got hit by a car. And it fucking... I, like as as that happened, I'm like, they're gonna get him to a vet. They're gonna, you know, they're not gonna kill the cat. They, they, you know, it's gonna be like this huge turning point for the character, but they're not gonna kill the cat. And they get in the taxi because they're, you know, she's they're they're gonna try and at least take him to a vet or a hospital or something, you know, to get things fixed, you know, checked out and stuff, and hopefully save him. And um, she's like, you know, here, here, eat these treats, you know. And the cat is just like it's fucked. It's it's obviously gonna die. And she's like trying to feed the cat treats. She's like oh you know these are his favorite treats and you know and, and he coughs up blood and then dies in her lap. And she fucking loses it. And I I I literally cried for fucking like probably like five to ten minutes. I was just like taking like I was just wiping fucking tears off my face because it's like that is so brutally. Fucked up, like that is just sad as shit, and that's kind of like the hallmark of the entire fucking series. It's just like, like it's just like holy shit, just just the fucked up. Oh my god, like uh, fucking the last episode with Sachi. It's just like fuck it is fucked up. And it's like, it is violent for an anime. And it's like, it's very, like, it, it's so, like, it's done so well. And, like, it's kind of like a shocking kind of violence. It's like, oh, you know, it's not like, in, you know, it's like, oh, my arm got chopped off. You know, say any other series. It's like, it's it's like real kind of feeling violence. And with Sachi, you know, she basically, her parents work a lot and she... You know, got left alone a lot as a kid. And fucking, you know, so she's all resentful of her parents because, like, you know, what the, you know, like, because at her 10th, 10th birthday, she's like, oh, we took the day off of work, we're going to play with you and all this shit. And she's like, you know, fuck you, where the fuck were you for, she obviously doesn't say this, but this is the tenor of what she's thinking. Is like, you know, what the fuck you, you know, like, why, who gives a shit, you know, like, why now are you deciding? To do this shit, like why? Why now of all fucking times? Like where were you? The, you know the fucking first couple of years of my fucking life. You know you you were working, and it's like so she runs away to this park, and her parents come, you know, yelling, making, you know, trying to find her, and like oh, she's like oh yay, you know, I'm over here because she's like oh, I said some awful shit. She's like I fucking I was being a selfish asshole, you know. And so she's running towards her parents, and they're they're on opposite sides of the street. And so her parents run in the middle of the street, and for some reason stop. I'll fucking say that it was kind of stupid that they stopped because they could have you know continued because there was enough time to, for them to you know go to the other side. But I can understand it's like oh they they saw their their daughter and it's like oh shit you know like you're not dead you know it was like they were kind of happy, and then just a fucking. A, a big old fucking truck just comes out of nowhere and fucking makes them this a fucking pier. And it's like, holy shit. It was like the most visceral. This series, this seriously, this series, series has given me more visceral reactions to shit than like ever before. And it's like, that's fucking crazy because I've watched so many 
like I'm tempted to watch Erased, even though I heard it's kind of shitty. But they like there's a gif I saw and it's like this, this like this girl who's gotten treated like shit, you know, for years or whatever, and she you know her fr like I think her friend is like or one of like she gets this new friend and is like she her friend like gives her this like nice homemade bowl of food and she's like blinking and she's like she sees like the food she usually gets to like this food and she just starts crying and it's like f like that's one of the reasons why I don't want to watch this the, watch race because I don't want to fucking cry again you know it's like they're all these fucking anime it's like well great like I'm gonna fucking be a, an emotional wreck you know it was it was it was fine enough with with regards to anime it's like I watched Grave of the Fireflies and that fucking ruined me for a good like day I think it, it fucked me up for like a day and a half I just I said this in a video where I talked about it I was like this is literally a movie you only have to watch fucking once in your life and it'll fucking stick with you and it's like it's, it's so true it's like a movie where it's like it's so fucking bleak. The movie starts off with the fucking main character dying. Like he's, he's sitting in like a train station or something underground. And he's just sitting there and he looks like shit and then he just falls over. And then he, like, his sister and his spirits reunite. And that movie is like, I, I, I'm not even joking. I, I said this in the video when I initially, like when I first watched the movie. I sat there. Like I had to stop at fucking points in the movie and like, decompress like I was just like alright I watched a half hour pause let me go fucking you know fuck you know interact with other human beings like you know let's let's decompress the shit come back watch some more stop like I did that throughout a fuck that whole movie and it's like it's fuck it 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 is bleak as shit and it's so funny people are like oh it's an anti war movie and the creator's like no nah, it's not an anti war movie it's just like it shows the bleakness of like war and it's it's like yeah I actually wonder what the fuck fire of uh, grave of the fireflies is actually rated it's 96 percent Google users 8.5 out of 10 uh, on IMDB what in the fuck is this rated but yeah it's fucking oh it is fucked up. It is fucking... It, it, if you have never seen this fucking... And I, I, the accolades for this movie is Chicago International Children's Film Festival and then won Animation Jury Award and the Rights of the Child Award. It's like, yeah... Oh, ooh, ooh. Just, just thinking about the movie is giving me fucking shivers. Like, it's like, fuck. Number six, apparently Empire ranked it as the sixth of the top ten depressing movies. I would have ranked it as like fucking two, two, and the fucking list of ten, cause it is fucked up. And people were like, oh, you know. So, like, people were like, oh, you know, this, this person couldn't, you know, it doesn't sound quite convincing as a four-year-old in English. It's like, what the fuck, do you want to subject a fucking, like, for the for the reality of the movie, like, the real like the realness of the movie, do you want to fucking subject a four-year-old to this shit? Do you want to make them watch this shit and psychologically fuck them? You know, it's like, and her, from what I remember, her voice is fine. It's not bad. And it's just like, it's just, and I, yeah, fucking, I, I like, this is the thing, I want to watch more like serious like dark anime but I don't want to do it if, it if it's gonna cause me to fucking cry every 10 fucking minutes <sighs> or like fucking or it's gonna break me you know for the fucking series it's like fuck 
It's like, literally. It's, I don't know. I, yeah, that's it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, and yes, I'm a fucking 28, gonna be 29 year old man, and I fucking cried at Grisaya. <clears throat> no, uh. <clears throat> no, kaijutsu. Yes, I fucking cried at that shit. Because it is legitimately depressing shit in that series.